Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel with over 40k subscribers. What? the hell i'm so so happy that you've joined me here today if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe if i find out that you've watched this video and not subscribed i will be so upset so please 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 subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before we get going today's video is all about office and workwear i'm going to talk you through some outfit ideas and i'm going to try them on as i'm talking to you about them so with that being said let's get started and i'll show you what i've got I wanted to just touch on the idea of going for a job interview or starting a new workplace. I've had so many DMs on Instagram from people saying they are actually having this at the moment where they have started a new job or they've had an interview or they're going to work at a new company and they've never met the people that they're working with. Everyone's been home working, working from home. So that being said, I just wanted to touch on makeup jewellery, nails, that kind of thing first of all. So depending on where you work, I've worked in a variety of different offices. I've worked in a really corporate office, I've worked in a really relaxed marketing agency, I've worked in fashion styling companies and, and retail and there's so many different varieties of office wear and I feel like I've experienced quite a few different ones. Working at Harrods, I've worked at Selfridges, all very premium, you have to have a certain standard of makeup and hair and nails and things like that. Then I've worked in recruitment so I had to have a really office roll outfit but then in marketing departments it was really relaxed jeans and t-shirt with a blazer. It definitely depends on where you work so please have that in mind when you're watching this video. Don't come at me saying I could never wear that in my office because do you know what everyone works in different places so this is not a one fit all so please have that in mind when you're thinking about this there are other people that work at other places so right. with that being said I just wanted to touch on my makeup so I'm going to come a little bit closer so I've done my makeup office inspired very light I've just used Helio Care which I rave about on my Instagram all the time the one that I'm wearing today is the beige tint so it's literally just a really light foundation tinted SPF so not only is it protecting your skin and preventing from aging it actually gives you this really light nice glowing nice finish to your skin because it is a tinted SPF so it's basically a foundation that's working to help against pollution if you work in a city it's gonna be great for your day to day to wear it's not too heavy and I just think it's a really nice daily foundation to wear then anywhere I've got a few spots or anything I've just gone through and put some concealer over and a bit of prolonged wear concealer underneath my eyes kept my eyebrows quite neutral I've not gone for any liner or anything I've just gone for a really subtle kind of bronzy eyeshadow again very subtle and then I've just put some mascara on a bit of bronzer and some pink blusher and then just a nice neutral lip and just kept it really really neutral I think it's good for a job interview there's nothing worse especially if you're going for somewhere in a retail job or at Selfridges and Harrods if you came with like a full face of makeup on with lashes and literally looking like a drag queen it was frowned upon because it can be a little bit intimidating sometimes to just have such like a going out look on in the workplace so I think personally it's better to go for a more of a neutral style of makeup which I've gone for today and then in terms of nails I've just gone for a short nail so this is like a neutral colour again I won't go for anything too loud like don't be having like gems hanging off your nails if you're going for a corporate job interview it will put people off and the same with chipped nail polish I think it really, this is awful because I used to always have chipped nail polish, but it really does give the wrong impression. It's almost like if you can't take care of your appearance with these little details, then what are you going to be like when you work somewhere? And each their own, I know everyone's different, but that's just my personal experience and personal opinion. And like I said, I've had a variety of different jobs in different places, but unkept nails with chipped polish is worse than having no polish on at all. If you cannot be bothered to keep up with having your nails done, which to be honest, me getting my nails done regular is a new thing for me. I used to just have no nail polish on and then just get like a strengthener, which is just like a clear on top. So they just looked nice and neat. They weren't long or they weren't dirty. They were just like trimmed with like a nice, just clear polish on top. So if you are low maintenance, just keep it like that. Then the same with jewelry. I've just got some nice studs in. So these are just really simple. I think these are from Pretty Little Thing. I wear these majority of the week they're just simple they just add like a really nice luxury kind of look and they just kind of make your makeup and hair just look prettier for some reason not too sure why but i just really like acid earring and the vibe that it gives i think it's just a nice little soft touch 
the same with necklaces so today i'm going to show you a big statement necklace to wear with some of the outfits but day to day i tend to wear just something really simple like this or if i can't bother i'll not wear any jewelry at all if it's too much upkeep it's going to annoy you all day at the end of the day if you're working in an office job you want to be comfortable you're going to be sat at your desk all day the last thing you want is something annoying you or choking you or anything like that so i would go for comfort and then also one of my favorite things to complete an office look or a job interview is a really nice just standard watch this one is from mvmt and it's in a rose gold color it looks way more expensive than it actually is i think it was around 100 pounds but i always get compliments on it and it just looks so much more expensive it makes every outfit just look so much more put together and just these simple things with the earrings the nice watch you're not breaking the bank like i said these are from pretty little thing i think they were like four or five pounds this watch is 100 pounds i've had it probably about five years now it's lasted a really long time and it just completes all my outfits so that's the basics for now for job interviews i would say neutral makeup stud earring watch and then keep your nails to a nice length nothing over the top if you can't bother to paint them go for just clear nail polish or just keep them really nice and clean and that is the start so outfit wise we're going to go straight in and i'm going to show you a bit more of a corporate look so I, I'm not going to say these are all for teachers because I know that the teacher aspect of office wear is a different ball game because you have to have things at a certain length, you can't have anything too on show so this is not specified for teachers because that in itself is a video but this is just more overall office wear throughout the year, different pieces that I've found that was comfortable for me to wear in the office in different jobs that I've done. So first of all is a shirt, so this one I'm wearing right now is from Misguided, it's like a silk satin style look of a shirt and it's in like a dusty creamy pink and I wear this quite a lot just with trousers tucked in. The only thing is if you've got a bust they're not the most flattering because they kind of just hang off in this way which you can see. So I don't always tend to wear this in this style, I'll wear something underneath and have these buttons loose but just for the sake of this video because it's cropping me to this level I've just fastened it up to here but usually I'd put like a little white cami underneath it and have it unfastened as long as it's not too you know cleavage on show. Um, um, just to break that up a little bit but this one I'm going to show you today is from I Sew First I have shown this with loads of different videos because I just love this shirt it's so versatile it is a balloon sleeve blouse and the material is just super flattering love the collar it's soft it's not too structured it's not too tight and I was sat there all day thinking god I'm so uncomfortable so this is a really really nice shirt to get out for out of work in work it's just a really good versatile piece and it is a bargain i quickly just want to say as well with the next item which is trousers trousers can be so hard to get right for work because you know you might feel good in them in the morning but then as soon as you eat you might think oh my god my stomach is so bloated i just want to hide i don't want to wear these tight trousers it's really making me feel uncomfortable these pants that i got from fashion nova they were part of my fashion nova shapewear haul and I just think they are so comfortable. They are a thong detail at the back and then they have this like slight control at the front. So I will be trying a lot of the trousers on with these pants today. You know when you think of shapewear, you think, oh my God, it's super uncomfortable, like literally up to here. Got a cast in that at work all day. These are not like that. These are a bit more of like a controlled invisible pant which would be perfect for trousers for work especially if you've got an interview or you you know are having a meeting that's important and you want to look nice you don't want someone to be thinking oh my god look at that nickel line or your g-strings hanging out the back it's just completely unprofessional wear a nice like simple control pant like this thong detail at the back because you're not going to get a really bad vpl but then they have this little control detail at the front which is helping to like you know, disguise and hide this tummy area in a little a little way just to help you out, you know? Everyone just needs a little help now and again. So these are really good. I'm gonna try them on with all the trousers. So the trousers I'm actually gonna try on with this look are from Fashion Nova. They do do some really great wide leg suit pants and things like that from Fashion Nova. I am including Fashion Nova because I do know a lot of my American subscribers can't get a lot of the British stuff that I talk about like Primark and things like that so Fashion Nova is my way of including some US brands in there um, these ones are amazing they are called Victoria high waisted dress pants in, I've got these in an extra large so that there's lots of movement other great places for trousers I have found is H&M really love H&M I had some really nice ones that 
I don't have any more because they definitely don't fit me. Um, were a H&M suit trouser with like a little zip detail in navy and they just hooked my bum in such a nice way. They were comfortable, they were a great suit trouser to wear for work. Zara do do a lot of really nice suit trousers but for me personally because I'm quite bottom heavy I don't find them the most flattering so I do tend to avoid Zara but if you are someone who isn't as bottom heavy or if you're an apple shape you might find Zara fits your legs really really well. The same with Boohoo. I've got some really lovely suit trousers from Boohoo that I'm going to show you throughout this haul as well and mango I've got some nice trousers before from mango they're just really good for that kind of like suit tailoring style of look so there's some brands to keep in mind if you're looking for trousers but like I said today I'm showing you these navy ones from Fashion Nova so as you can see here I have just teamed up the white shirt from ISO at first which I just showed you and these Fashion Nova navy trousers together I've tucked it in and I've teamed it with some high heel shoes again it's preference I'm only 5 foot 2.5 so I have to wear a heel with long trousers or have them taken up but it's complete preference these style of shoes are great for work they're just like a ballet slipper pump these ones are from boohoo and they look great with tights or trousers and they just really work appropriate and in winter if you're looking for more of a heeled shoe go for a nice chunky boot like these ones these ones are from public desire public desire have so many lovely shoes all year long so definitely give them a look and i'll be trying on more of the shoes throughout this video then to complete that look i had just put over the top this trench coat which is from boohoo and it's like a lightweight one i just think the trench coat especially if you're mid-sized or you're a little bit curvy then a trench coat can look really amazing to bring you in at the waist because it's got the tie detail belt and it just creates this gap down the middle as you can see here of just you know flattering and, and creating this shape and all the colors and tones are working together so that is outfit number one outfit number two again is a very smart formal look and i've gone for the trousers which i just mentioned from boohoo which are like a cigarette trouser style they are really flattering i would size up in these ones i'm wearing a 14 and they are slightly too tight on me now um i would probably go for a 16 in these now just for a little bit more movement because obviously like i said you want to be comfortable all day you don't want to be sat there thinking oh my god i can't eat anything i'm uncomfortable these trousers are super 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 flattering and the fabric is really comfortable breathable they're not too restrictive and I just absolutely love this suit. Today I am actually teaming it up with this bodysuit. I'm actually about to launch my own bodysuit on ELR style so I haven't launched it yet so I'm not going to include it but it would be perfect for this look. So instead of including this one from Misguided which is like a cheaper simpler version. The only problem is with a lot of the online store brands is if you are wearing these things for work they're not that durable so you can wash them a few times and they won't last. Where I would like to say the, the bodysuit I'm bringing out is really thick, really durable, it's made to last and it's really good quality. But obviously if you can't wait, I totally understand. So Misguided do some great bodysuits and Boohoo also do some great bodysuits that you can team up with these trousers, which will be a really nice look with the, the matching black suit jacket, which is here. And I do actually wear these as separates all the time. You can wear this jacket outside of work by putting it with a t-shirt, some jeans, you you can wear it with a dress it's just such a versatile blazer and again because it's this really nice soft breathable material it's not going to be too restricted you're not going to be uncomfortable all day at work it just really is a nice suit and it's really affordable so that is outfit number two i also forgot to mention in outfit number two i just used these heels again from public desire but it is complete preference if you don't want to wear heels at work i understand you could again team that look up with some ballet slippers or even just like a kitten heel something smaller or boots that'll look really nice with a nice chelsea boot as well another great look is instead of the bodysuit if the bodysuit is not for you is to go all black so i absolutely love wearing a really gorgeous satiny style black shirt similar to what i'm wearing right now with the black trousers and then the suit jacket over the top if you can get the shirt to tuck over which i'm showing you here it is such a really nice sophisticated look and i don't know i just think it works really well for loads of different industries that kind of sophisticated black suit look because it's working to shape to your body it's not one of those really frumpy old suits that you, you know people would wear and like if you ha a woman has to wear a suit it's almost like it has to be like really corporate this is like a really fun kind of flattering way to wear a suit and I just think it's quite feminine to wear like a silky shirt rather than just like a black cotton shirt which you know you see lots of male colleagues wearing it's just nice to have a little bit of soft feminine 
styling there. Then I've got two dresses to show you for look number three. Um, the first one is this one from ISO at first, which is a skater style dress. Absolutely love a skater style dress for work because you can put it with tights, you can put it with bare legs in summer and sandals. It's really versatile and the skater is working to be tight on the bust area here and waist and then just kind of let go, which is great after you've eaten or you've been wearing something all day. You don't want to feel like you're in a restricted pencil skirt or a restricted really tight dress all day because naturally our bodies change throughout the day. If you're drinking a lot of water, you're drinking a lot of tea and coffee, you can get bloated after you've eaten. If you're having a meeting and you sat down all day, you do not want to be restricted in a really tight dress. There's nothing worse in my opinion. It just, it literally ruins the day. You just can't think about anything else other than being just so un completely uncomfortable. So, I love this dress from ISO at first. I actually have it in a baby blue colour, which I have shown on my channel before for wedding guests because it's just such a really gorgeous, flattering dress. And the sleeve details are really nice because it's covered at the neck here and then covers at the sleeves. A lot of skater dresses I've noticed are cut sleeves. So this one's a rare one to have this little cute feminine sleeve. This Again, this one is from ISO at first. The previous one I got in a size 14 and then this one I have in a size 12. This one does come up really, really big. But again, I think this will be lovely to wear in summer with flat sandals. It's professional, you're covered. There's nothing too much on show. If you did feel like it was a little bit too transparent because it is off white, you could put a slip underneath it. Primark have some fab just simple slips that you can put underneath and the sleeves are covered so your arms are covered and it's not too short. I just think it's a really lovely dress and I have teamed that one up with this gold necklace. This gold necklace I actually got years ago when I was a personal shopper at Topshop and I've kept it ever since because it's just such a great statement necklace for work. It just creates a bit more of a dramatic look when you're at work. You know, you don't want to be obviously over the top but it just really brings the outfit together. It's a way to almost make a statement by having a statement piece of jewellery on in a professional way. And if you wanted to, you could also use an oversized blazer with those style of looks. If you felt like you were on show too much, you could bring this oversized blazer into the mix. This one's from Primark and it'll just make all of the outfit work together because it is so oversized and then those two dresses come in at the waist. But then I've also included this skirt which is from Boohoo and it's called a twist not draped midi skirt. This one I've got in a 16 and I'm going to wear it with the black bodysuit which I previously showed you and it works really really well with the blazer over the top. You can wear this with heels, flat sandals. It's a really nice versatile way of using the traditional pencil skirt but it's going to be super flattering on the tummy area because it has this ruche in here so again you're not going to feel restricted all day where you think oh my god literally can't breathe out because I'm wearing a pencil skirt this is a really contemporary way of wearing a pencil skirt because like I said it has this twist detail at the front here which is hiding the tummy area and disguising it and it's just really comfortable and versatile and you're probably going to wear this numerous times every year and get it out so that's why this one is a great addition to the skirts section of this video because I just think Pencil skirts, as much as we love them and they are a traditional piece, I just think they are not the most comfortable or versatile pieces where this style of knot skirt I think is going to make more of an appearance throughout business and working environments after the Covid situation. Then as we move on to a bit more of a summery kind of working environment, traditionally when I worked in offices when summer starts people do have a bit more of a lenience to what people wear. You know, men start to take their ties off and they have a bit more of an open shirt policy. It does get very, very hot in summer and obviously they've got air conditioning in majority of offices now. But I do think you can get away with things a little bit more in summer in certain office environments. So I have picked this one out as a bit of a wild card. It is a long maxi midi dress, whatever you wanted to call it. And it's in a polka dot brown colour, the sleeves are full, the neck is high, it's coming in at the waist and it's a good length. So I really think this one could be worn at work with some flat sandals or again the little ballet pumps or even in autumn winter with a chunky boot and a blazer. I think it's a really good additional piece to have in your wardrobe again for in and out of the office but I do think in summer you can generally get away with being a little bit more flexible with wearing more summery items as long as they have a high neck, sleeve and a good length. 
personally, in summer, I would never wear anything too short in the office. One, you know, be freezing because the air conditioner <laughs> is always so cold. And two, it's just not the most comfortable environment to be in to wear something short. You might need to bend over, you might need to go and grab something, you might have your legs open underneath your desk at work and it's just a bit uncomfortable to think that you're wearing something that's quite revealing. So I personally would never go for anything too short without tights because it's just not the most professional thing to do. So a dress like this length is great and again because it's high neck you're not going to be bending over and there's going to be cleavage coming out or anything like that. It is really important to be professional in certain environments so these are the key things that I'm trying to reiterate throughout this video is just to you know have these kind of work standards in mind especially if you've never worked in an office before it can be a little bit daunting because everything has its own way of being done. Um, and you will get the hang of it because you'll be able to see what other people wear but I always think in an interview environment it's always better to be a bit more corporate rather than relaxed because if you turn up and you are in like a jeans and a t-shirt and the whole office is in real suited and booted outfits then you are going to stand out and it's probably not going to be for the right reasons so I would always say go more corporate to start with and then you can be a bit more flexible when you assess the situation and what other people are wearing and again it differs from office to office I remember I used to work in the Leeds office but would go to the London office like every two three weeks and the London office would be a lot more corporate so we'd have to dress a lot more corporate when we went to meetings down there whereas in the Leeds office it was a bit more day to day because it was a marketing department so it just depends really on the environment and that's what I'm trying to stress throughout this video. Then again touching on the summer idea I absolutely love these bodysuits for work so you can get bodysuits that are t-shirts so you know when you're like sat down and you're wearing a top or a t-shirt and then you get up and your t-shirt's hanging out the back or you just feel like it's all ruched up and it looks terrible in the skirt that you're wearing and stuff like that. It's just really annoying. And again, it just looks slightly unprofessional, like you're unkept. So these t-shirts are great. This one is from a while ago now, from Pretty Little Thing. Um, but I know you can get them from New Look. I've got another one that I'll show you that is from New Look. And it's like a polo neck kind of shirt bodysuit with long sleeves which is great as well to wear with these kind of outfits and I'm just teaming it up with this midi skirt which is a wrap skirt from Boohoo. These wrap skirts are super flattering for the office because you can tie this detail at the side which you can see here and it just works to really flatter any lower tummy area that you might want to disguise, be comfortable but you still look put together and sophisticated which is why I think this is a great summer look for majority of officers to be honest. And then if you do get a little bit cold like I said I have Aircon walls after aircon walls with certain offices I've worked in because I hate being cold but sometimes I'll dress for the outdoor weather especially if I'm like walking home catching the bus anything like that the last thing you want is to be in like a roll neck even though the office is absolutely freezing so I think a little cropped jumper like this one can look really nice with those style of outfits where you're wearing a skirt or a long dress it just completes it still looks professional you can sit at your desk with a nice necklace on and a cropped jumper and then you know by the end of the day if you get too hot you can just take it off and your outfit underneath is still really really nice but it's just nice I did go through a stage of wearing kind a lot in the office with those kind of outfits and I do think it can look a little bit kind of dowdy and a bit like frumpy because the cardigan you just end up putting it on with any outfit that you are wearing in the office and it just doesn't always go so I think the way forward is a cropped jumper because it really transforms the whole outfit that you are wearing another great midi skirt to try is this one from Simply B it is really flattering Simply B do have loads of lovely flattering items and I have recently started working with them so I have got a lot more of their clothes at the moment and I do find myself being drawn to picking them up more because they are really flattering so this one is from them and again I think this would be great for work it's a perfect length there's like a fake slit so it's not actually your legs out it's a fake slit which again is great for work teachers and things like that you know you're not going to bend over to get something or reach out and there's going to be a little bit too much of a slit on show so this one is great and again everything that i am mentioning today i will tag it down below so you can have a little shop and see if there's anything that you like and if it's not available i promise i will try and find an alternative then again on the summer hype i can't remember what number we're on right now i feel like this is number four as a total um is the beige what's called mushroom version of the black suit that i saw you i did actually get this for a non-work event it was for my 30th we went to la and i went and wore this i was feeling very like i wanted to be extra because it was my 30th so i wore this suit in malibu 
in LA, went to Nobu and it was amazing. But I just felt really like it's a sophisticated suit. Like you would never be able to tell it's from Boohoo. Again, I matched it up with like the nice watch and just, you know, accessories do make a big difference when it comes to these kind of items. It just really dresses them up and you don't have to pay extortionate prices to look sophisticated and professional. So that's really what I'm trying to reiterate throughout this video is that, you know, you don't have to break the bank to look smart and sophisticated. So this one I'm going to team up with this shirt and this shirt people ask me about all the time I absolutely love it and I actually got it from everything five pound So if you are watching this video thinking oh my god I wish I could afford all these items head over to everything five pound and I promise you I mean Dances in the name, everything is five pound, but you will find some really amazing bargains for office wear this shirt it is from a while ago now, but I just love it. I just think it's really nice material. You would never guess it was five pounds and this whole look together is just a completely different vibe. It just looks so sophisticated and I just love the colour, especially for summer, especially if you've got like a really big meeting or you're trying to make a statement and you want to, you know, get noticed in an outfit in the office or a certain meeting, then going for a light coloured suit in summer is definitely a way to get noticed. And then again, touching on trousers, these ones are from Pretty Little Thing. I have had these ones taken up because they were too long. And to be honest, I didn't intend on these being an office trouser. I wore these on New Year's Eve as part of the suit, but these trousers are absolutely the most flattering trousers now that I've had them taken up. So I just wanted to touch on this. If you find a trouser that you really, really like and it's just too long, don't just put it back because it's important to get it fitted to your body shape and height. So I had these taken up in a local stitchers where they just got me to put it on, I stood there, they took it up and then within an hour I picked it back up and I've worn them so many times since because they actually fit me in a really, really nice way. And obviously if you're gonna be wearing office wear on a regular basis, then you definitely want to be investing in getting them taken up and taken in to fit with your body shape because you'll just feel the best. So these ones are from Pretty Little Thing and I would team them up with a shirt like this tucked in or one of the other shirts that I have previously shown you. Then another way to wear things in summer in the office is a kimono. So this one is a long kimono. Hear me out, I know everyone that works in a corporate office is thinking, oh my god, I cannot wear a kimono. I'm thinking more in terms of somebody who in summer has a bit more of a relaxed office, so marketing department, or you know, you, you can get away with certain style of outfits in summer. This one is a great addition because it's just easy to throw on with a high neck bodysuit underneath, black jeans, you're still gonna look professional with a big necklace on, or just, you know, a simple outfit to wear with flat shoes, you can get away with flip flops, bodysuit, black jeans, you're still gonna look sophisticated and put together, but depending on your office environment, you probably can get away with wearing a bodysuit, black jeans and a kimono in summer and you're gonna feel comfortable all day long and not like you are in a real corporate situation. Then, I think I want to number five, <laughs> hopefully I want to number five. So number five, I would say a good asset to have in your working wardrobe is black jeans and a nice top. Again, depending on your working environment, I don't think you could get away with this in really, you know, corporate environments, but I have myself, when I worked at Harrods or in Selfridges, I've worn black jeans on the shop floor and they've been happy with that as long as they are smart and got no rips in or anything like that. Um, and then again, the same when I worked in the recruitment company, as long as I wore a nice top, which I'm gonna show you now, then it was allowed for me to wear black jeans with a nice, Top. So you can just get a black jean like this. Topshop used to do a really nice one called Joni, which is just a really nice simple black jean. Boohoo also do the black butt shaper jeans, which are really flattering. I'm obsessed with the blue ones, I wear them all the time. But the black ones are also really nice. They're a bit more of a thicker denim, so I do always size up in those ones because they're much tighter than the blue ones. But Fashion Nova again, they do some great just plain black jeans, no rips high waist, super comfortable. And then it's important, depending on your working environment, to team it up with a really nice top. So I think if you're working on a shop floor in a luxury department store, or if you are in a corporate office, or in something like that situation and you do need to wear a smart black top, these ones from Fashion Nova, 
are really, really flattering. I have mentioned these style of tops on my flattering tops haul. It has like a knotted detail underneath it. And it, again, it's just so, so comfortable to wear all day long because it's just like skimming off your bust and hiding your tummy area. So you're always gonna feel really comfortable and confident in this style of top. Or you could go for one like this one, which is from Boohoo. And it, again, it's a very similar shape, but it has this tie detail at the bottom. So it's just working to pull you in and create this knotted waist area to wear with jeans. And you're gonna look sophisticated, put together still, but you are in jeans. It's all about how you wear the top and accessorize it. So again, you could either wear it with the court shoes or you could wear it with the little pumps or you could wear it with the Chelsea boots with the heels, depending on what you prefer. These are the fashion Nova jeans that I absolutely love that are in black. They've got a lovely, really nice, soft fabric. And these ones are called super high waist denim skinnies. And these ones I'm wearing are a size nine, but the fabric is just so lovely and you can just tell you can wear them all day long and feel comfortable. And then I also wanted to show you this style of top, which is really making the rounds at the moment. And it's where a top is kind of included into a shirt. This one is from Quiz, and I just think it's really nice to wear with black jeans. You're gonna still look professional at work because it's a shirt and it almost looks like a jump project of a shirt, but it's really stylish and it's really flattering because it's just working to bring you in here, like I said, and then just come out there. So your tummy is always gonna be bloke friendly in these kind of shirts. And then finally, depending again on where you are working, this is probably with my marketing department brain, I am thinking of this outfit, but I did used to wear quite often um, this style of t-shirt, like a Breton t-shirt with just some simple blue jeans. These blue jeans are from Fashion Nova and I do love this one because I find them very professional in the fact that the colour is like a deep blue and then it just has this really nice light fluttering blue going through the, the front. So they are really flattering and make your legs look longer. And then I'm just going to team it up with this t-shirt. And you can put a black blazer over the top if you wanted a bit more of a corporate look. This would be great for autumn winter as well, where you can wear the Chelsea boots with it and then the blazer on top all day. And then if it does get a bit cold or you're wanting to look a bit more professional for a meeting, then I would put a big camel coat with lots of these looks to bring everything together. This one is from River Island. Absolutely stunning coat from River Island. I will link everything below, like I said before. This one is a size 12. And these colour schemes I've put together, they all work so well with a camel coat just to finish everything off. And it's just a great asset to have in your wardrobe. And then I'm gonna finish our chat with bags. So I find if you don't wanna have a designer bag for work, obviously Obviously, not all of us do. Me especially, like, there's no point. I don't see the need to have a designer bag for work because I just think it's gonna get damaged. This one is from Boohoo. This was actually my work bag. I absolutely loved taking this to the office before I left my job to go and do this full time. Um, it's just a great tote bag. You just shove everything in. It looks professional. It's leather. This one's from Boohoo, but I know Zara do loads of similar ones like that, and it's just a great, everyday bag you just throw things in if you need to put a notepad in there you need to put your laptop in there you can throw everything in and it's gonna fit next is this one which I got from Topshop which is an over bag so again if you wanted to have a bit more of a cool stylish look really looks nice with this camel coat over the top and you just have a really nice kind of designer dupe style bag over the shoulder nice and leather no makeup stains on it nothing like that especially if you're going for an interview you don't want to have a bag that looks tatty and tired you want something that just looks really simple and clean people like clean and then another bag i absolutely love i have tried my hardest girls to find a dupe of this but i cannot find one my friend actually used to have her own bag line and she gifted me this bag and it's one of my favourite bags ever. It's a tote bag. It's definitely a Birkin knockoff but it just always looks so nice and professional because it has this loop option but then it also can be held like this by the handle and it's really nice leather. So again just a nice simple black bag. You cannot go wrong. Just wanted to include those three in there with some ideas of what to bring if you need to bring a bag to your interview or to work. So and it was very long winded. I hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot of information to take in. If you haven't already seen all my other videos in my personal shop, then please head over to my personal shop playlist where there is so many different ideas on how to choose items to suit your body shape and make you feel the absolute best in any situation. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys super soon. Thank you so much, bye.